Hi. Um, well, let me start this up here real quick. All right. Rendering might be a little different because I'm testing with uh, Oculus Quest over Airlink right now. Um, but hi. Um, been a while. I've made a video in a long time because, well, honestly, I expected to make a video about UE5's release. And then it's taken like six months or something like that for that to actually happen. I thought 4.26 was going to be the transition engine version. Then I thought 4.27 was going to be. And then obviously neither of those happened immediately. And now we're finally on to UE 5.1. 5.0 was kind of a disaster for trying to do stuff with physics in. So I just skipped it entirely. I told people to hold off, not to touch it. Chaos was extremely unstable in it. But this is in 5.1 preview, and things are actually working pretty great. I had to make some small changes to how things work on the back end to work around some issues. It's still not perfect. Um, one of the things right now with uh, Chaos is skeletal meshes do not properly attach to things. As you can see, there's no collision on it. If it was a physical hand, there'd still be no collision on it. It just doesn't work correctly. Um, hopefully that'll be fixed before the preview's out. Another thing is Chaos's uh, replication is a little off. These bl I'm p currently playing as a client right now, actually. Um, and those blocks right there on the server will still be stacked perfectly. Uh, client loaded in, they got some jitter, and they fell over. But the server's approximation of them, they're still all standing up like that. So it's currently desynced. Now, if I were to pick some of these up and move them like this, server's going to take over, and um, now they're synced because they've been moved. Server told you where they ended up at, and they're good. And for that matter, for that kind of thing, um, CAS is actually a lot nicer for that. Oh. Okay, so throwing with CAS still has some issues. But um, where, it will where it will sync to with CHAOS... Uh, it feels a lot more responsive on the client's end. Now, you would still probably want to use something like client auth throwing, but you don't need to necessarily. Uh, other than that, everything's working pretty good. Uh, obviously, the car is one that a lot of people use. Don't mind the steering wheel. That lever is off. Another thing with the replication here is it, the steering wheel's offset is this is a physical car, and it's attached to it. But as soon as I... Put it in motion, pops back in. The server has finally updated its position for us. So, I mean, 5.1 is actually usable though, so I'm not going to complain. 5.0 was honestly had me pretty depressed. I wasn't sh able to do anything with that engine version. I was kind of in limbo, just waiting for it to get, for it to get fixed in another version of Unreal Engine 5. I guess the cast car stole out. <laughs> All right. Anyways, um, so I have preview uh, branches up for the plugin and the example for five point one, and as of today, I would say they're probably playable and usable. Uh, five point one had a difference where they are now using enhanced input by default, and you should still be able to use, but um. They, they warn you to use enhanced input. The example has been ported over to enhanced input now. It is in a fully onto it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm used to doing all this with... I'm used to doing all this with uh, Index. I've been developing on Quest because... Well... It's more common and it's easier not to set everything up, honestly. Uh, there is one major issue besides the hand attachment, no collision thing. Um, widget interaction interactors are broken. They changed how the engine uses input. Um, if you're going to call input devices, hit my chair. So for my console log component, I've already updated to the new system so that it works correctly here. But for some reason, they haven't done that yet on widget interactors. So while you can click on checkboxes and buttons, you cannot actually do anything. Ooh, that's probably a bad idea. 
Okay, cool. If I actually clicked on one of the options in this combo box, it would lock input entirely for me. And for that matter, I wouldn't also be able to click respawn hands at all. It's just a bug. I've uh, noted it and I'll submit a bug report if I have to. Um, this is all still in the forward renderer because it performs significantly better for me. I uh, Nanite and Lumen are both working in VR in 5.1 which is interesting, and I'm going to record another video about that um, if I can get one that actually performs well enough to record during it. But I just wanted to give the heads up. Plugins fully working on 5.1 Preview. Hopefully 5.1 Preview will be stable and cleaner. There's some crashes in it currently, but I mean, this is way more promising than, you know, what we had to deal with with um, 5.0. Like, this actually makes me feel like, you know, light at the end of the tunnel. And this will be pretty cool. Uh, something's really cool is uh, physics settings for chaos. I knew there had to be something wrong with them because damping when you were grip something was so insanely overpowered. Like when you're dragging something around, it dragged like a good three feet behind you because the dampening had to be so low to not affect the object very much. And I didn't think there was any possible way that that could be intended. It had to be a bug. And in 5.1, I guess, proves it was a bug because no such thing exists anymore. So I'm going to set up a deferred rendering in the Lumen and uh, Nanite and test that out. First experiment with that did not perform as well as I wanted it to, so I'm going to give it another go. And I guess that's it for now. So, yeah. I guess, bye.